Hello and welcome back to another tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to create a sign up form with Constant Contact. Inside of your Constant Contact dashboard, up here there is a sign up forms button. Once you click on that, you will arrive here. Let's create a sign up form. And now you can select a sign up form type, a pop up, inline, a landing page, or a Facebook lead ad. I will make a tutorial on these other ones later, but today let's create a sign up form with inline. This is probably the most popular option. On this page, you can customize your opt in form or sign up form right here. First, let's give it a name. For example, here I will put this sign up form on my demo website just to keep it organized. Save. And now you get to customize the title, description, contact fields. And in settings, there isn't really any kind of settings besides the constant contact branding, which is on by default. And you can't disable it unless you sign up for a upgraded plan. Let's go back to content, click on title. And here you can customize the title right here. So let's change this real quick. Okay, uh, I just added a demo right there. Let's go back, description. So right here, let's customize this a little bit. So usually you want to incentivize your visitors to sign up by offering like a free coupon or some kind of special discount or free gift. So you can do that right there in the description. Now contact fields, you can add other fields like first name, last name, and it will be right here. If you want to make it a requirement, you can check the box here. You can add other things like phone numbers, country, that's optional. Let's go back here. And email list, make sure you select the right email list specifically for this contact form. And you can select multiple lists if you want. Let's go to the button. So it's pretty much right here, sign up. So I'll just add this right here, free sign up. I'll change the text color. So you can customize that if you want. The background, let's make it green. Let's go back. And now the background, you can change the color. So let's do that. Just make it a little bit unique and matches your website. And that's pretty much it. Now you click on publish. Okay, success, your form is active. To get started, you can install the inline code and the universal code. So let's click here. All right, so here is the inline code. This is where you can copy here and paste it on your website where you want this form to display. So in this example here on my website, a demo website, I want to display the form on my sidebar. This is for WordPress. If you're using HTML website or any other kind of websites, you just need to be able to edit the codes to your website. And if you're a WordPress user, you can do this easily, especially if you want to add it to a sidebar. For instance, here under my appearance widgets and go to your sidebar, right sidebar. So my website has a right sidebar. You will need to drag and drop this text widget right here. And let's add it to the top since this is where I want to display the inline form. And then make sure you select this text tab right here so that you can paste in the code directly in the code editor area right here. And then next, this requires a one-time universal code. So click on that. And here is the universal code. And you only need to add this one time. For example, you can have like two or three forms on the same website or, or on the same page, but you only need to paste this one time. So let's go back here and you can actually just paste it at the bottom right here. So we have the inline code and the universal code, just like that. Now click on save. Let's go back to my site page here. Let's do a refresh and there it is. So remember when I was editing the form, it was a lot wider looking, but now in the sidebar, it matches the width of my sidebar. It works nicely. And now a user can enter in their email, first name, last name, and free sign up. So let's see how that looks. All right, I got some demo data here. Let's go to free sign up. Okay, uh, thank you for signing up. All right, that was pretty easy. There's nothing to it. And that's how you create a sign up form and add it to your website for WordPress. I hope this helped. Let me know if you guys have any questions. 
And be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on using Constant Contact. Thanks again, and until next time, happy marketing.